Oh boy, do I love having a creative outlet for me to just express myself and build some cool stuff. And you guys suggested some some wild stuff this time. I think I think this is um. I mean, okay, so Sheep Sheep Week twenty twenty day three. There's all the fingers. Um, we're gonna be building some great things today. Uh, yesterday you guys asked me to build some things and I built them and you guys were so happy that I decided I would just do it again. I'll make another, I'll do it again. So we're gonna, so the first person, um, actually was after I made the video, but before it was uploaded, they asked me to make Snoopy. So Snoopy, real easy. Um, oops, we're just gonna make, um, I think we're gonna do it. There you go. So you got a little doghouse, you got Snoopy. Okay, fine. We all know what Snoopy from the Peanuts comics looks like. And okay, maybe that's not the perfect rendition. But what if we what if we did the perfect rendition? So I think that a lot of people would agree that Snoopy is kind of a this shape. We can kind of work more with something like that. And I think that looks a lot like him. A lot like Snoopy from the Peanuts. So there's our first build. What's next? Of course, anytime anyone breathes a sentence out that says MR Productions, the next word is just too good. So of course he was suggested, and someone asked what he looked like, and they said that he had hands, and he's like, Of course he's got hands, we know that. And I was like, Yeah, then why do you need me to tell you what he looks like? Anyways, so let's. Let's build a mantis. Now, the hard part about making people... Some big bug antennas. hard part about making people out of simple Lego things is that we kind of run out of variations of things pretty quickly. that look like him? Antennas, um, he's got hands, two of them, a face. That's... Oh, damn, there it is. There's, there's that mantis boy, that good mantis boy sitting there on the... Look at him. Wow, I love it. So, yeah, there you go. So we don't have to do this. We don't have to do another just too good. Now I know what you're thinking. What are we going to do next? Because these have all been so amazing. There's not even possibly a better one. There actually is a lot of better ones. And Pluto the dog from, you know, Mickey Mouse. So Pluto has red collar like that. We're going to go with this. And then we're going to make him have... He's got goofy big feet. That is a personality trait of the dog. And then he's got a very long tail, I feel like. So there it is. That's actually a very reasonable Shreep. Um, it's it's Pluto. He's got the ears, he's got the tail, and um, the big feet. The big feet, because he definitely has big feet. So using the parts we had, very, very reasonably built. Now this next suggestion, big, big shock one. But it's um it's Ash and Flash because they ran out of a very small group of YouTubers that I've hung out with. So Ash and Flash. Um he looks like a minifigure most of the time. But what if I just did like a just did like a lightning bolt? Mm -hmm. Go with this, maybe. Can that get us our? Ooh, that's not a good. <laughs> that's not a good lightning bolt. Um, let's try instead doing. Hmm. Huh.
Yeah, this is good. There you go. There's the letter A for Ash. Can I make an F? Almost. One more piece and I could have had an F. Um, so anyways, there you go. Ash and Flash. That is... The first letter of his name. Why would we stop there when we're having such a great time? We're having so much fun here on Shreep Week 2020. So I think we should probably do... Um, someone requested Mac from Mac 2. So I guess we'll build Mac from Mac 2. Now, from what I recall, he's a tall kind of thing. So if I can do not damage knock stuff off my desk. So we're kind of going for a tall look today. And there's some red in his face area, if I'm not mistaken. Does that look good? Yeah, that's kind of good. He's got a big arm punching at you. Maybe we should do something like this. Yeah, he's got the big arm coming at you. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty good. Um, maybe... Oh, geez. Um, you know, you know, I'm, I'm happy with that. I like this one a lot, actually. So there's Knack from Knack 2. This next request was... Is. It's my favorite. It's probably my favorite request that we've gotten so far because it's the aliens from War of the Worlds tripod. The tripod walker alien from War of the Worlds. Anyways, it's a it's a real movie several times and it's also been a book several different times. So if you don't know what it is, I am sorry, but trying to make a tripod could prove challenging. But luckily for me, I'm a master Lego man. And I am not challenged by anything. Kind of good. It's got three legs. It's kind of tall. It's got some alien looking shaping with that big gaping chest cavity. And look, it's even got a face. Oh my gosh, I actually, this is, this is my favorite. This one's my favorite so far. So good job. Or person that requested that, whose name I didn't make a note of. I thought we'd uh, kind of round this video out with a I guess this one's going to be kind of a free build. It's just I want to make I want to make a nice prototypical farm animal for your Lego people. So we're going to have to start with the head, of course. I think we're going to give them the flat head, so the short with the, the big back. So we'll do something like that. But we're going to try and make it we're going to make it more interesting than just that. How about a big chunky front? Maybe a big chunky back too. Hmm. Not, not hating it. Give it a red back. Um, and a tail? No, no tail on this one. Maybe, oh, you know what could look good? What if we do... Ooh, ooh, I'm getting real close. We're getting real close on this one. I think we gotta go one more. Come on, we're getting so close. It's a big, strong looking, strong animal. Maybe it's the face wrong? Ooh, is that, is that the look? Do I need the mouth open? Oh, it's not gonna do a, a, a mouth open move, but we can just set it there and have it kind of raw. Ooh, that could be that could be it. Now the secret here is we're gonna go ahead and put these um, forward and backwards so that we can have a little bit smoother, good finish. Do I want the the piece there? Ooh, he looks real strong. I'm really liking that. 
We got one more, we got three more pieces to mess around with. And I think this is the look, because we want it to kind of sit like that. So we do have to like position it like up a little bit if we're going to take a picture of it with its mouth open, because otherwise the gravity falls. But like, ooh, yeah, like a big strong, look at that, there we go. It's some kind of buffalo maybe. I was kind of getting a gorilla vibe off that big manly front arm and the, the smaller little back legs, but I think, I think that's a good farm animal. Big, strong, you know, pulling a plow type farm animal. So that's, that's a shriek for today. Um, do leave more comments. I do want some more of those coming in. Maybe, you know, more animals this time. Things, maybe, maybe a vague idea of an animal like, hey, um, I'd like to see one that a minifigure could ride or... I'd like to see one that maybe um, you know you use you use on a on a deer hunt to, to help you catch that track that deer maybe maybe you want to see some variation of an elk you know that could be fun so give me some of those anyways over here is an automatic video subscribe on the chunky boy and then over on these extra pieces I guess this is the video that I handpicked for you so it's a good one it's it is Lego Knack two video I don't know why that would be surprising.